Alright, welcome back to our cover series for our tutorials. And today we're going to be looking at fluid and item covers. Now, the first one we're going to look at here is the drain cover, which goes on a pipe. And then the pipe that you use needs to be a thousand capacity or more if you're going to be collecting water in like a river or something now this one has been sitting out here on this pipe collecting rain which it can also do but we can take it down here to our water source now we have finite water on in our pack so this should only collect that one source that was above it you can see 1000 water is in it but if you take this down to a river or in an ocean it will infinitely collect water and never create that flowing water that I just did there it actually has a check in it or if it is in a river biome or an ocean biome. So if you need infinite water, then you'll need to put one of these into one of those two biomes. Or collect rain, which you can set up a whole bunch of them if you wanted to do that. Now, there is also an air vent which we have over here. This one does exactly what its name implies. It collects air. So it will slowly collect air and put it into this tank. Um, now you can also put this onto machines directly. So if you wanted it to collect air this way you could do that now it has to be on a machine that actually has um, air as a recipe or it wouldn't collect it uh, and the electrolyzer doesn't the main machine you would use this on is a centrifuge and there is also three different kinds of air you have regular air in your overworld and dimensions such as it nether air and ender air each one having different chemical properties so you'll want to uh, test that out and see uh, what your different airs are going to give you and you can see we now have 800 liters of air in there and I'm using a very small capacity pipe so it's only able to collect very little all right so the next one we're going to look at is a fluid filter so this is a fluid filter now there is a full block version of this as well which we will not be getting into um, since this is covers um, but this does one fluid so I have these two tanks one with oxygen and one with hydrogen we're going to click on that filter you can see it's now set to oxygen and if we put these two tanks up here smack them with a wrench so we'll say it will fill adjacent tanks then it will only allow the oxygen to come into this tank and that is if I didn't put the hydrogen on first, which is blocking it from going in. So what we're going to do, we're going to run this pipe over here. We'll put another tank there. That will let the hydrogen go through. So the hydrogen will have to go there where the oxygen will be allowed into this one. Now you can also use a screwdriver to 
put this back to our screwdriver. This is a multi-tool. You can use a regular electric or manual screwdriver as well. We can also invert this, which would then allow the hydrogen to go in and not the oxygen. Basically, a blacklist filter. And it comes as whitelist standard. Now, after that, you have a item filter. Now, an item filter is very similar to a fluid filter. It also has a block version. Again, we're not going to get into. It has the same functionality that you can use it as a whitelist or blacklist. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these spider eyes here. We're going to click them on there. We're going to put them like third in that box. We're going to open that pipe up. And now nothing is going through, but that's because we have the hopper turned off. So now we're going to turn the hopper off. You can see the items are filling up in there. But the spider eyes can't go through because the pipe is full. But you can see that nothing else is going in there. We are going to now set this over here. Open it up. Everything is going to drop in there except for our spider eyes, which. Oh, wait a minute. Our spider eyes, which are in this last. There we go. Now they went through. They are in this chest, and all the other random garbage is in there. Now we could do the same exact thing and blacklist it, and then that would put all the junk in here and the spider eye here. For why this had to be longer, look for. Our tutorial on pipes coming eventually and I will explain the different lengths of pipe now this one is a retriever cover now this one is somewhat like an a pump for fluids or a conveyor belt except it is a it works in the opposite direction so this one if we throw some of this random junk into this chest here, that retriever will automatically pull it into this chest rather than being pushed out by the other one. So now we're going to use this controller cover, which I will explain here in a second to turn off the retriever so now it is doing nothing turn it back on and it starts pulling anything on the pipe network that it can okay so now that we've done that now we should look at what we're using to control this and that is a controller cover basically it is just a redstone switch so you put it onto a pipe or machine or whatever wire that has a another cover on the same pipe. Uh, if I use my wrench here, you see the outline here. You'll see the retriever is on this pipe, and so is the machine switch. You do not want to have this on the wire. You want to make sure it's on the same block. So let's put this back on here. Now, I was just talking about conveyors. This is a conveyor belt. This is an item that you use for crafting, but can also be used as a cover. So now it will work exactly opposite of the retriever cover. 
So if I put this random junk into this chest, it will pull it out and put it into this chest via the conveyor cover. Doing. And you can also use a controller cover with it to turn it on and off. Now there is also a robotic arm, which this will choose from what slot in the box or inventory that it is going to pull. You'll see that the rose and the light gray is not going and neither is the purple or the indigo if I put it over there. If we check, this is set to slot zero. Now if we set it to slot one, it took the rose red. If we set it to slot two, it will take the yellow, remembering that this pipe is very slow. There we go. So that will pick only the item you have in the selected slot to go. So depending on what you're needing, depends on what you use. Now back to fluids, we're going to take our hydrogen tank here. We are going to look at a pump cover. Now. This is just like the conveyor belt and the robotic arm that it is a crafting item, but it can also be used as a cover that will pull a fluid from an inventory into a pipe system and put it into the next available container that will hold it. Now our hydrogen is empty. And all our hydrogen is over there. And then this one is a shutter. This one can be used on pipes or on cables. And we are going to use it with our controller cover here. And what it is going to do is it will open and close a connection. So if we put this on here, you will see that that wire is not connected. But if we take our wire and let's take our block and lever here. And then connect this up like we had it here. And we hit the lever. You can see that the wire is now connected. And that can do the same thing for item pipes and fluid pipes. So if you needed to disconnect something, uh, via the shutter to do so. You can also do it with a screwdriver. So if we put that there and we use our screwdriver, we can invert it to so that it is automatically shut rather than automatically open and so if that is the case then when we put the random stuff into this chest everything will go down into this chest and nothing will be able to come here where if we take all our random junk Set that to normal, and we put this stuff back in here. Everything can then go to this chest, 
and it won't go to that one. So that is one way that you can choose where things go when and via redstone and be able to turn them on and off. So that is fluid and item covers. We have um, one more cover here that we're going to cover today. And it is actually a combination of covers. Um, these two work together. And they are the redstone conductive cover except and emit. Now what these do is they allow redstone to go through a block that normally would not allow it, such as a pipe. So you'll see that the redstone is accepted through this one and emitted through that one and turns our light on and off. Where redstone normally will not go through a pipe. As you can see there. So that is our uh, items and redstone covers. Um, there is also a button cover, which we can I can show a little bit here. It's a little more advanced, uh, but basically it does redstone via a button click depending on which one and this one you can use a chisel so if you want numbers or alphanumeric you can do that as well in whatever way that you want including I guess that's supposed to be a phone or something or you can just have this one which is a picture one if you look very closely the pixel changes depending on where it is so this one will output redstone strength via the button that you have to chose and there is lots of fancy things you can do with this button so get creative and you can make some great things I know that one person has actually made an elevator uh, with this button control so all kinds of fancy things you can do with it and that is pretty much it for covers um, I do believe I have gone through all of the more basics we have some fancy redstone ones here for machines and we also have a pressure valve left and we will be going over those in the next one so look forward to that and then we have sensors coming after that which aren't technically covers but we will be doing those afterwards so if you're interested in any of the machine switches or basic covers go back and look for those videos um, and if you are interested in the more advanced redstone covers or the sensors, be looking forward to those in the future. Hope you enjoyed. As always, leave a message if you have any questions or stop by our Discord and ask. And someone, including myself, will be happy to answer them for you. Have a good one.